Hi, welcome everyone. We all need few basic requirements in our life. They are sunlight, air, habitat, food and water. And today in this session, we are going to know and learn about one of the most essential substance that supports our life. That is water. Can you imagine your life without water? It's very hard to imagine, right? Yes, water supports our life and we need it for bathing, drinking, cooking, washing and also we use water for industrial purpose and also for agriculture. Do you know about 71% of earth's surface is covered with water and this water is present in ponds, rivers, lakes, seas, oceans and ice caps and also water exists in the air in the form of water vapor and also water is present below the surface of earth. Do you know bodies of all plants and animals contains water in them? For instance, human body contains 70% of water, tomatoes contains 90% of water and neem tree has about 60% of water. Thus, water is essential requirement for all living organisms. Look into this slide. In nature, various sources of water we have are seas, oceans, rain, rivers, lakes, ponds, etc. Here, oceans and seas cover more than two-thirds of Earth's surface, but their water is not fit for drinking because they contain high amounts of salts. If you see here, higher parts of mountains contain snow. What happens during summer? The snow melts and changes into water and this water comes down in the form of streams and rivers. We need to understand one point here. On our earth, rain is the main source to fill all the water bodies like ponds, rivers, lakes, etc. Some amount of water also goes into the soil. This is called as underground water. And if you remember, our elders used to dig water from the wells, tube wells and use hand pumps to draw this underground water. So far we have seen various water bodies on our earth. But remember one thing, these water bodies carry many impurities. It means their water is not pure and water supply to our homes also may have many impurities. Mainly water have two types of impurities. First one is soluble impurity. It means in this category impurities are present but we cannot see them because they are soluble. They are dissolved completely in water. For example, see here germs are present in water but we cannot see them because they are soluble in water. Hence, they are called as soluble impurities. Salt, germs or few examples of this category. Next one is insoluble impurities. Here impurities present in water are not soluble so that we can see them easily. Mud, stones, sand or few examples of this category. Note one point here. Whether water contains soluble or insoluble impurities, we must purify dirty water before drinking and using. Now we will see few methods how to purify water. Sedimentation and decantation. By using this method, we can remove insoluble impurities from water. Look here, we have taken muddy water in a beaker. Allow it to remain for some time so that insoluble mud particles settle down at bottom. So now this layer of mud is called as sediment and this entire process is sedimentation. We are seeing clean water above the layer of mud, right? So now pour out this water gently without distributing settled impurities and this process is called decantation. Filtration. In this method, we use filter paper to remove insoluble impurities. To do filtration, take a circular filter paper and make a cone out of it. Now place the cone inside a funnel and place this funnel in a conical flask as you are seeing here. Now pour muddy water into filter paper. Observe now, mud does not pass through the filter paper. It remains on it, so it is called as a residue. And you are seeing here, clean water is coming through the funnel drop by drop, right? So this is called as filtrate. And this entire process is filtration. So, insoluble impurities like sand, mud, stones can be separated from water by sedimentation, decantation and filtration. 
we get water through taps right do you know how we get see here this is water treatment plant before water reaches our homes it is purified by big machines and filters at this water treatment plant here purification of water involves many steps once water purified it is collected in big tanks from these tanks water reaches our homes through pipes so this is how we get water through taps but remember one thing this water is not pure it may contains many impurities so we need to clean this water before drinking look here boiling is the best and simple method to remove impurities boil the water for at least 10 minutes because boiling kills germs present in water we can also purify water by using water filters nowadays many people are using water filters to remove harmful bacteria that are present in water and chlorination is also another method to purify water this process involves adding chlorine to water to kill microorganisms like bacteria and viruses water is one of the most precious things that we have but you know one thing billions of people lack with water and 2.7 billion people experience water scarcity at least one month in a year especially during summer scarcity of water is mainly due to climatic changes increased population increased human demand and over usage of water so we should not waste water look into this slide avoid brushing teeth and washing hands with running tap water instead you can use a mug to save water avoid watering plants with pipe this is because it wastes a lot of water instead we can use bucket and mug for watering the plants When you bath use bucket and mug instead of shower and close the tap tightly when you have finished using water. We should avoid cleaning utensils with the running tap water and we should repair leaking pipes to avoid wastage of water. And the best way to save water is reusing water. See for example, we wash fruits and vegetables, right? This water can be collected and reused for watering plants. In the same way, water used for washing hands and face can be used to flush out the toilets. So, in this way, by following and adopting few good activities, we can save water. Remember one thing, saving water is almost equal to saving our planet. Hope you enjoyed today's session. If yes, please click like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.